Hi, this is Alvin from Dr. Wealth and today I'm going to share with you about electric vehicle or EV batteries. Right? Why batteries? Because they are the key components in uh, constructing all this electric vehicle and you also understand that why the batteries are actually holding back the adoption of EV as I share later. Um, and there are many, many new companies, not say new companies, there are many existing companies <laughs> trying to innovate the design of the batteries versus uh, the incumbents that are already producing a lot of all these batteries. Right? So it's a very interesting thing that I hope you can stay with me till the end of the video. The usual disclaimer, pause and read it if you need to. So um, it's about the battery. Why? Because um, the, it's, it's a major inhibitor for mass adoptions of EV at this moment because the batteries couldn't be produced uh, fast enough. Right. Uh, that means the uh, uh, and then also the battery cost uh, is not able to be brought down to a level that everybody can afford an electric vehicle. So there are two things over here. All right. Um, and the battery seems to be the bottleneck to the entire EV industry. Right. So companies are vying uh, uh, to solve this problem, right, to create a solution for this uh, battery technology. Uh, the current incumbents uh, are your LG chemical that's the largest uh, market share right it's from south korea with a uh, close to a 25 percent market share uh, as of uh, jan to september 2020 this year right and then um, the second one is from china catl right has about uh, very close to lg chemicals okay just uh, shy of 25 percent as well and then the third is panasonic uh, which is close to 20 percent from japan and you have other smaller players over here all right so um um your Tesla actually buy from the top three suppliers, right? In terms of the EV battery, um, in uh, US they buy it from Panasonic. Okay, the factories in US buy it from Panasonic, and the factory in Shanghai buy it from uh, South Korea as well as CATL uh, in China, right? So the current battery makers are already uh, um, having a significant share, right? The top three are more than fifty percent of the EV battery uh, market share. Okay, so it is a competitive market, all right, and it seems like it's uh, uh, consolidating, okay. But uh, as I said, the EV battery design is not uh, superior yet, and there are new companies that are coming up to um, uh, disrupt the industry. Uh, so batteries have improved tremendously already, okay. All the incumbents are already doing a good job to bring down the cost over the years, uh, but it's still not good enough. Right. Let me explain to you why. Uh, for electric vehicle, it still take about six to twelve hours to charge. Okay, and that's a long time. Considering that you know, if you drive a gasoline vehicle, uh, you you just uh, go to the uh, pump station and you just need about ten minutes to fill up. Right. Sorry for the extra tea over here. Okay, so um, in terms of, you know, uh, sometimes if you want to go longer distance uh, in bigger countries, then electric vehicles, uh, they run out of range, right? And they, uh, you may have an issue uh, to find a charging point, right? So average range is about 300 kilometers, uh, while Tesla Model 3 can do like 580 kilometers, almost twice that of a, a normal range, right? Whereas your internal combustion engine can do a 480 km uh, per tank very easily and can just fill up very quickly in a, a petrol station which is uh, pretty much uh, quite ubiquitous right so uh, electric vehicle has another problem is lack of charging ports okay the infrastructure is not there yet whereas the filling station uh, depending depending on which country you are but i guess uh, most countries right uh, filling station is not a problem okay they are uh, located strategic strategically in many nodes of the entire transport network or the road network uh, and then uh, for batteries, the for electric vehicles, the batteries still cost more, okay, uh, un, uh, especially without subsidies, all right, whereas your uh, gasoline cars have wide range of prices and options, you can go for a cheap one, if you are cost conscious, you can go for a luxurious one, uh, if you are feeling wealthy, all right, so there's a lot more options, whereas electric vehicle, the option is a lot fewer and they are uh, expensive, right, because of, uh, especially the battery costs have not really come down. Production is slow. And it's the current bottleneck of the e entire EV production, all right? Okay, and they need to solve this in order to scale uh, electric vehicle adoption uh, worldwide. Uh, in terms of the uh, gasoline cars, right, production capacity is already established today, right? It's more than sufficient to supply the world's demand, okay? So you can see that um, the electric vehicles cannot have mass adoption as long as all these problems are not solved yet, right? 
and the new challenges to come and redesign the entire batteries right your today's a uh, very leading organization right tesla uh besides buying the batteries from panasonic catl as well as uh, lg cam uh they have also uh went to uh rethink how the battery designs can be improved right they they call it the tapless uh, lithium ion batteries and then quantum scape which is a uh, spac special uh, purpose acquisition company uh, has proposed a solid state battery instead okay instead of uh, um, usually the current batteries are uh, having a liquid electrolyte whereas uh, what they're thinking of is a solid uh, uh, electrolyte rather than a liquid one so there are advantages and disadvantages which i'll share later all right and then uh, toyota has also um, uh, experimented with this solid state battery which is now then of course a competitor to your quantum scape kind of design and uh, even Apple want to join the fray, recently announced the Apple car is going to release in 22.4 and they'll be using a design called Monocell. Not much details have been released, but that was the name of it. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this uh, space is getting really interesting, all right? And people are really trying to solve the, the bottleneck all right, of the EV industry. If they can get this right, then the adoption of EV uh, will be a lot more prevalent uh, compared to the current state of affairs. Okay, so I'll go through a bit more detail for each of the battery design, right? So this is the Tesla tabless battery. Uh, it was announced during the battery day and uh, I can't remember exactly when, right? But it was a, a, a session that was really just dedicated to talk about uh, uh, how, are they gonna, how they're going to solve this battery problem. Um, their goal is to halve the cost of producing every kilowatt with continuous cylindrical cell. Uh, as opposed to those with tap, right? So uh, the current battery looks like this. There's a tap, okay? Um, and that waste space, okay? But I don't know how much space it takes internally, lah, right? Inside this uh, jelly roll. Uh, and what they designed is this, okay? It looks something like this. It's a tapless one. You can see any taps that's sticking out, all right? Uh, what they propose is that uh, it's more compact and you can pack five times the energy uh, at another 16% in terms of range and six times the power, all right and uh, that also brings down the cost of the electric vehicle okay and tesla also mentioned that uh, this twenty five thousand dollars autonomous electric vehicle autonomous are uh, not even with driver uh, is possible uh, with these batteries all right uh, now it's about 40k for a tesla so it's almost half of the cost of the ev uh, in the future of course you know i don't mind right if they continue to bring down this cost of electric vehicle uh, and when charging ports are a lot more prevalent uh, buying an EV uh, will become a norm for many people in the future. Uh, this is what a solid state battery uh, diagram looks like. All right, just a little bit of like a science uh, explanation, a science experiment. If you remember your chemistry or your physics back uh, in your school days, right? So this is the current conventional uh, batteries. It's, it has a liquid electrolyte, right? It's a liquid electrolyte. So you have an uh, anode and a cathode. Okay, so that's the plus minus where you know it let the charges go through and that's where the electricity has been generated um, what quantum scape is trying to design is a solid state battery so instead of a liquid uh, electrolyte they are using a solid electrolyte okay and uh, you can also see that there's actually no uh, no anode okay there's a cat, uh, cathode over here but there's no anode right there's only an anode uh, current collector that's all so which means you can see the size can reduce tremendously right so that's one of the key uh, proposition and you don't need to have uh, sacrificed so much space on the car in order for you to put these batteries right so that's what that design is all about okay and solid state uh, you know if you remember your physics right solid is more compact you can pack a lot more atoms within a uh, same space compared to if it is liquid where the atoms are more um, distant apart right so that also means that uh, even for the same size of the battery you can pack even more power and energy all right so that's the advantages of your solid state batteries okay it takes a few minutes to charge right so that is uh, one of the key problems that we highlighted right not I, if we want hours we just want minutes you can just plug it in like how we feel a petrol tank today and you can just drive off and it's fully charged right that's the best right and we also want that for our phones as well so maybe the solid state battery has a lot more potential uh, than just uh, the cars itself all right uh, solid is the denser as i mentioned just now right you can pack more power in a smaller size or you can save space okay so you can see over here, uh, uh, maybe you just need one fifth of the current conventional batteries in order for you to get the same power, 
right? Uh, it's also safer, okay? One of the key issues is also, um, you know, sometimes this kind of a lithium ion battery can uh, get flammable. Like, I don't know how many cases have you seen that kind of electric scooter uh, combust and burn down the whole house, right? So this kind of fire risk is still, po uh, still uh, possible in the current kind of uh, battery technology that uh, we use in electric vehicles today. So with these solid-state batteries, they are actually in fact safer. Right, uh, so Quantum Scape is uh, SPAC as I mentioned just now. It's, it has a lot of prominent backers like your Bill Gates, John Dewar, uh, Schreiber, who is used by ex Tesla, and Volkswagen uh, has promised to use Quantum Scape batteries in 2025 onwards. All right, so uh, that is the the um, a lot of uh, people have uh, see this problem and they all want to solve it. And you have big names behind uh, all these companies. Right, and Quantumscape has done very well. The share price have gone up two thousand five hundred percent in four months. You heard it right, okay? That's like twenty five times in four months. Uh, uh, some most stocks you don't even see in the entire lifetime, right? But this Quantumscape was able to go up, uh, by twenty five x in four months. That was as of twenty uh, fourth December, uh, just before the Christmas holiday started, okay? So it's still a very phenomenal kind of uh, uh growth, right? In such a sh short span of time. Uh, so Quantumscape is definitely one of the, the companies that is current, uh, very hot right now, right? With a very sexy story to solve the problem of EV industry. And uh, don't forget about Toyota, which is, uh, you know, one of the largest uh, car manufacturers in the world. And uh, recently they have also announced that they will release a prototype electric vehicle that runs on solid state battery in 22.1. That's very fast. Even Quantumscape, they only promised 22.5. Uh, Toyota uh, seems like they're running ahead uh, with this solid state battery, all right, and uh, they give uh, some details. They say that it's going to just take 10 minutes to charge and it's going to be 5 km range, all right? So that sounds a lot better than what we have with the batteries today. Okay, and uh, Toyota happens to hold most of the patents for solid state batteries as well, over 1,000 uh, patents uh, as of today. All right, so uh, it, it, it seems that, uh, you know, this uh, Japanese uh, giant car company is not giving up. Uh, their gasoline cars are under threat, and of course, they want to innovate and survive the new wave of uh, electric vehicles running on the roads. Mm -hmm. um, and Apple, right, um, uh, announced that they are going to be very serious in uh, producing this car. Uh, uh, it has been some ups and downs throughout the years. And uh, they really want to focus on more on the self-driving autonomous uh, uh, car uh, in 2024. They're going to start production, uh, production in 2024. So you can buy one uh, maybe a year before, right? Place an order and uh, maybe you can get it start of 2025 or even end of 2024. Okay, an Apple car, right? So that's, that's like a lot of excitement and, and people are imagining what uh, this car can be, okay? And uh, they also release a little bit um, uh, on the battery information, which is a mono cell, all right? Uh, uh, basically, what it's trying to do, right, is to eliminate all the pouches and the modules that's like casing, right? That's holding all these batteries together. So if you can remove all these things, it's a contiguous uh, mono cell, right? It allows you to um, have more space for power storage instead of all this uh, unnecessary casing that is taking up the space, right? Uh, possible use of lithium iron phosphate. Okay, I'm not a chemist. Okay, uh, I, I don't know what uh, what the chemical characteristics or properties of this uh, compound, right? Uh, but what I know is that it's supposed to be uh, less chance of overheating and it's of course safer in this case, all right? And uh, there's an insider in the project that, that uh, I quote, okay, said this. Uh, it's the next level, like the first time you see an iPhone, right? So there's a lot of all this kind of anticipation that's really baked into this Apple's car. Um, uh, I'm also very curious what it's going to look like, how it's going to perform, how different is it going to be from, let's say, a Tesla car, right? And uh, of course, Musk, Elon Musk want to chip in and, and say that, you know, uh, he, he wanted to uh, pour some right, cold water or uh, uh, put a wet blanket over <laughs> Apple's uh, uh, car design, right? He said that uh, electromechanical impossible as the max voltage will be about 100x uh, too low, right? So he's, he's arguing that a monocell design cannot be possible, right? Uh, I don't know who is right, okay? Uh, I'm in for the surprise, right? I hope Apple really surprised me, okay, in four years time. 
So in summary, uh, batteries are very crucial to the current EV adoption, right? Because it is a bottleneck. It is a production bottleneck. Uh, batteries can't be produced enough. Uh, they are too costly. Um, and then it comes with associated problems uh, in terms of uh, uh, safety, in terms of um, the availability of the charges, right? And the charging time, right? So it is currently a uh, uh, one that is holding back the entire industry. So we are on the verge, the good news is we're on the verge of a massive battery improvement in the coming years, right? Because we have so many people working on it, right? Uh, each touting their method is the best, right? That should be the industry standard, okay? So a handful of well-resourced players, right? You have big names, right? The Tesla wants to get into it, your Apple wants to get into it, your Toyota wants to get into it, and you have a quantum scape which is backed by a lot of uh, well-known individuals also want to solve this problem. And um, it's hard at this point in time, which will become the dominant industry standard. Uh, it's very hard to tell who the winner is going to be. All right. Uh, but if let's say you are going to put a gun into my head and ask me to pick a company. Okay. This is what I will say. All right. I will say, I will think that Condenscape is too niche. Right. Even though the share price have been performing very well and very excellent. And you have a lot of uh, um, uh, well, uh, famous uh, investors uh, in this company. Um, I do think that it's uh, a bit niche, right? If they only stuck to batteries, right? Unless the batteries can be used in a wider kind of applications beyond cars, okay? Then um, uh, uh, maybe that's more possible, all right? Uh, and then in terms of uh, uh, making cars, EVs, okay? I think Tesla is ahead, right? Regardless whether it's Apple or Toyota. Toyota maybe is better in the, the gasoline cars or even hybrids. But uh, pure EVs, I don't really recall that they have very uh, good models to really compare with Tesla. Okay, and then uh, lastly, I would think that Tesla makes a more exciting uh, um, and wider play because uh, it is not just a car company anymore. It is an energy company. All right, they are looking at uh, really like a clean energy play. Uh, whereas uh, relatively to quantum scape, uh, it is focused on the, just the battery itself. Right, but Tesla, uh, uh, they, they are more vertically integrated. They make cars. They, they actually is really an engineering company, right? Uh, plus, come an energy company. And also that uh, Elon Musk is thinking of merging all his uh, separate companies into one mega corporation, right? So uh, if you ask me, I do think that uh, out of all these four, probably uh, Tesla looks a lot more interesting uh, in this space. All right, but uh, that doesn't mean that uh, I will buy them at this point in time because uh, uh, the share price of Tesla has also uh, performed very well. Okay, and that suggests some kind of a premium to the share price at this point in time. Okay, so I hope that now you have a better understanding about EV batteries and the opportunities as well as the issues uh, and as well as the uncertainties that are revolving around the design, the final industry standard for all this EV. But as consumers, I do think that this is going to be exciting, right? I do think that the problem of this uh, battery issues will be solved in a few years time. And autom autonomous vehicles is also going to be a very close possibility. So I don't know about you, but I'm very excited about future. Uh, whether I, I would invest in these companies or not is another question, right? But as a consumer, I'm really, really very excited uh, to see what, it what the future brings. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Give uh give me a uh, like on the video and comment below, right? Let me know what you think and what kind of companies or what kind of industry would you like to uh, uh get me to analyze next. Right? Thanks for watching and good luck.